Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to discuss about data sharing and security related question and answers. So this data sharing and security is related to Salesforce. So let's jump to first question. So if you are going for an interview, so there may be a question like what is sharing and security in Salesforce? So your answer can be data security is important because you need to control what a user or group of user can see in the org or app. Salesforce provides layered sharing model. You can easily assign different data sets to different group of users. You can control access to your whole org, any specific object, fields, and records. Now, if you want to learn how the sharing and security model works in Salesforce, uh, through the demonstration. So you can just visit study salesforce.com in administrator section, you will find data security uh, playlist. So you can just watch all the recordings to understand this in detail. Next question can be what is sharing and security model? So there are four basic pillars. So first we have organization level security, then object level security, then field level security, and then record level security. What is organization level security? So it maintains a list of authorized users. So we can set password policies, login limit to certain hours or locations like limit IP addresses from which users can log in, limit the times at which users can log in. Now comes object level security. So it is important. So you can control object level permissions for both standard and custom objects. You can set permissions for a particular object. You can give permissions to view, create, edit, and delete any records of that object. And you can control object permissions using profiles and permission sets. Now, how we can do this? So just visit studysalesforce.com to learn more. Then what is field level security? So you can restrict access to certain fields in Salesforce even if user has object level access. You can make a field visible to a particular user and can hide that from another user. You can give read or edit permission to a field. If you don't give both, then that field will not be visible. Field level security can be controlled through profiles and permission sets. Now, what is profile? So a profile is a collection of settings and permissions. Profile settings determines which data the user can see and permissions determines what the user can do with that data. A profile can be assigned to many users, but a user can have only one profile at a time. So this is important to know. So if you have created profile, so one user can have at least an at max one profile, not more than one, not less than one but one profile can be assigned to many users. What can be controlled through a profile? So we can control assigned app and assigned connected apps, object settings, app permissions, Apex class and VF page access, external data source access, named credential access, flow access, custom permissions and custom metadata type, custom setting definitions and system permissions. Enhanced profile user interface. So you can switch to enhanced profile user interface through setup. And in setup, uh, in quick find, if you search user management settings, so if you open that page, so you will find uh, like how to enable uh, this uh, enhanced profile user interface. So if enabled, then you can browse, search, and modify settings and permission in a profile through a streamlined user interface. So this is important to know, like a profile has two different interfaces. So if you enable enhanced profile user interfaces, so you will be having streamlined user interface. Otherwise, you will be having the detailed user interface. What is permission set? So a permission set is a collection of settings and permissions that give user access to various tools and functions. Permission sets extend users' functionality access without changing their profile. So it means like if user is having a profile assigned already, 
and if you want to give additional permissions so, so you can assign permission sets to that user so through permission sets permission can be granted and anytime it can be taken away as well users can have only one profile but they can have multiple permission set assigned what can be add on through a permission set so assigned apps and assigned connected apps object settings app permission apex class and vf page access external data source access named credential access flow access custom permissions and custom metadata type custom settings definitions and system permissions now what is permission set group so permission set group bundles different permission sets together based on a persona a permission set group includes all the permissions available in the permission sets so basically if you have suppose five permission sets and you don't want to assign those five permission sets again and again to users because you will be individually assigning them so what you can do you can club all those permission sets into a permission set group and then uh, you just need to assign that permission set group so that all those permission set settings permissions will be applied automatically now in permission set group you have one more feature that is one permission set can be included in uh, more than one permission sets uh, set groups and a user can be assigned one or more permission set groups also we can assign permission set and permission set groups together to user right now i was talking about the one special uh, thing that is available in permission set group like we can mute the permissions in permission set groups so this is the next question what is mute in permission set group so one can mute some permissions in permission set group so that they won't be given to the user if you mute particular permission in permission set group then it won't impact individual permission set they remain intact you can anytime unmute the permissions in permission set group right how many profiles can be assigned to a user one not zero not more than one how many permission sets can be assigned to a user so it can be zero or any number of permission sets now what is record level security so you can restrict access to records for users even if user has object object level permissions for example a user can view his own records but not others you can manage record level access in following ways so we have four options like uh, first you need to enable organization wide defaults then you can apply role hierarchy sharing rules and manual sharing to open up the permissions now what is owd so owd basically stands for organization wide defaults that we saw in the previous question it specifies the default level of access of record org wide sharing settings lock down the data to the most restrictive level here you have three access level one is private then public read only and public read write so you can use other record level security and sharing tools to open up the sharing of records right so uh, now particularly we are talking about record level security right record sharing so previously we talked about object and fields so for controlling object and field permissions we have profile pro permission sets and permission set groups but if you want to control record sharing so we have owd that we discussed then we have role hierarchy so now what is role hierarchy so role hierarchy gives access for users higher in the hierarchy that user can access all records owned by the users below them in the hierarchy each role in the hierarchy should represent a level of data access that a user or group of user needs you can assign users to role through role hierarchy or user detail page so if you have applied owd and then you want to open up uh, record sharing so you can uh, use role hierarchy so if we take simple example like if you are working in an organization and you reports to your manager so if your records are not shared with anyone then if you fall under particular manager so there should be role hierarchy implemented and your records will be visible to your manager even if your record level security like owd is private for particular object 
So what is grant access using hierarchies? So this option is available uh, when you open sharing settings to apply OWD. So this feature controls whether the user who is above in the role hierarchy can access the records of subordinates or not. So this is this also we can control. So for a particular object, we can control it. So it is checked by default for all the standard object, but we can control it for custom object. So we can control which object will be shared with uh, your manager or uh, who is higher in the hierarchy because it may be possible like you don't want to share all the objects you want to show some of the specific objects that your manager uh, should know so accordingly you can control sharing through grant access using hierarchies what is sharing rule so sharing rules are exceptions to org wide defaults through sharing rules, you can share records to a group of users or to roles, roles and subordinates so that they can get access to the records they don't own or can't manually see. So basically, if in an organization, if two users or group of users are available and you want to share records which are owned by a user or group of user with another user or group of user. So in that case, you can use a sharing rule. So basically, role hierarchy opens up record sharing vertically like if you report to someone then only your records will be shared but if you don't report to someone still you want to share the records basis on certain conditions so you can do that with the help of sharing rule again everything that you want to learn in detail so all the detailed videos are also available on study salesforce.com so do visit and learn these concepts in detail as well. Now, there are two ways to create sharing rules. One is owner-based sharing and second is criteria-based sharing. So owner-based sharing means the record owner uh, will be the uh, like criteria in that case. And criteria-based sharing, you can have any field in the criteria and basis on that criteria, your record sharing will be done. What is manual sharing? So manual sharing allows owners of particular records to share them with another users. Manual sharing is not automated like OWD role hierarchy or sharing rules. It can be useful in some situations where you manually want to share a record with another user, right? So on each record on top right corner, when you have a drop down option where all the quick action or actions are available. So there you will find a sharing button. So if you hit that button, so you can choose like with which user you want to manually uh, share that particular record. And anytime you can revoke sharing as well. What is public group? So in sharing, we use public group as well. So basically it is a group of users. You can add or remove users from one public group anytime following can be member of a public group. So one public group can be member of another public group. Roles can be member of public group. So if you have assigned uh, one role to, let's suppose five users. So all those five users will be the member of that public group. If that respective role is member of that group, then roles and subordinates. So one role and whatever sub roles, those are associated with that role and users, individual user. You can also control grant access using hierarchies while creating public group. Object does not have added permission, but OWD is public read, right? So what will happen? So user won't be able to edit the record, right? So again, I'm uh, repeating the question. So object does not have added permission, but OWD is public read, right? So if you don't have added action on the object level, and you have uh, like public read write permission on OWD, still you won't be able to edit the record because on top object is not having edit permission. Next is view all and modify all. So it grants access to all records of the object regardless of the sharing and security settings. View all and modify all permissions, ignore the sharing model roles and sharing rules, right? So this is also important to know. So these, these were the questions, uh, those I prepared related to data security and sharing. So I hope it will help you to prepare yourself for a Salesforce administrator interview. 
And if you want to learn these concepts in detail, so you can visit studiedsalesforce.com. There you will find all the recorded videos along with the theoretical as well as practical demonstrations. Thank you.